Hello, my name is Opal Singleton. I'm the president and CEO of Million Kids. This is a Million Kids Insider Alert, and I hope that you will share it with others. Million Kids wants to congratulate the San Diego Human Trafficking Task Force. They just completed an operation there called Operation Better Pass. Over 48 people were arrested in a human trafficking and sexual exploitation investigation in San Diego and also in National City. They were targeting the area near the naval base where officials says sex customers were lined up like they were in a fast food drive through So San Diego Chief of Police, David Neslet, announced the 48 arrests at a press conference. And this is uh, sourced from the San Diego Union Tribune. We thank them for their reporting. In February 2023, they conducted the operation and 16 people were identified as suspected victims of sex trafficking, including eight minors between the ages of 13 and 17. Nine suspects were accused of more serious crimes, including human trafficking of a minor and assault with a deadly weapon. Two firearms were discovered during the operation, including a ghost gun. A ghost gun is a gun that is built by a private citizen instead of a licensed corporation. One trafficker allegedly used physical violence and sexual abuse and a gun to force three young people, including two 16-year-old runaway girls from Arizona, and force them into sex work. Well, Chief Nesset addressed the issue of the new California Senate bill, SB 357. Those of you that follow me and kids know that we fought long and hard against that bill that we lost. This bill is, uh, was signed by Governor Newsom last year. It was created by Senator Scott Weiner. It actually passed the House and the Assembly in 2021, but was not presented to um, Governor Newsom until the middle of last year uh, after the preliminary elections were, were completed. And Governor Newsom signed it. This bill says that no uh, law enforcement can no longer intervene when a person is lurking for the purposes of engaging in solicitation for street prostitution. Now, Chief Nesset addressed this issue and he said it further complicates law enforcement's efforts to identify victims of sex trafficking. I could not agree more. This chief is right on the money, exactly how that works. He went on to say, we're talking about a young lady who by the age of 13 had fallen victim to sex trafficking. How many more victims do we need in sex trafficking before we realize this is not a good law? Well, the chief of police from National City, uh, Chief Jose Tellez, and San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stephan, or Stephen, agrees with Chief Nesla that the SB 357 bill signed last year complicates law enforcement's ability to identify and assist sex trafficking victims. The DA said that one case involved a pregnant 21-year-old woman and her 17-year-old sister, both of whom were allegedly sex trafficked. She said she had visited the San Diego National City locations and what she saw there was simply appalling. Well, there's some important takeaways from this case. Human trafficking task forces throughout all of Southern California are committed to com combating sex trafficking and rescuing victims of trafficking. That includes the group I work with, the Riverside County Trafficking uh, Human Trafficking Task Force, Orange County, San Bernardino County. They're still committed, regardless of this law, to going out and rescuing victims of trafficking. SB 357 does complicate law enforcement's ability to identify victims of trafficking, as well as rescue and assist minors that are being forced into commercial sex. The challenge I'll just share with you is that once a young girl puts on makeup, it's kind of hard to tell if she's 16 or 19. And if law enforcement can intervene, how are they going to be able to assist her and rescue those? In the first 45 days that SB 357 has been implemented. 
there is a significant increase in the number of individuals walking the streets, soliciting or selling commercial sex. Additionally, I want it to be noted that many of these young females that are being brought in are from out of state. We just did an insider alert last week about all the girls being brought in by vans from Nevada up in Oakland and, and being dumped out on the street in front of a, a, a Catholic school, uh, a, a, a private school. They're being dumped out and they're all having out of state license plates. In this case, many of the girls are being brought in from Arizona to make money for commercial sex. And many of these women are minors. One was pregnant and several were showing signs of abuse. If you know anyone who is being sex trafficked or being exploited through online social media exploitation, please contact the, uh, the national hotline, 1-888-3737-888. That's 1-888-3737-888. You can report anonymously. Well, I'd encourage you to follow me and kids. And really, if you're uh, on Facebook, go to the Million Kids Supporters Group. That's a closed group where we analyze cases and uh, and share it and use it as a training on how to train on sex trafficking, money laundering, sextortion, social media exploitation, foreign national trafficking, gang trafficking. All you have to do is sign up and you can join, and it's a great training program. And this is how you contact me. Thank you to each and every one of you that support our work with your prayers and with your finances. You can do that at millionkids.org slash donate. We'll see you next time on Million Kids Insider Alert.